How did life originate on Earth? Have you ever given much thought to how life originated on Earth? If not, then don't worry. In this video, we will discuss various theories for the origin of life. The origin of life is considered a unique event in the history of the universe. The first theory which attempts to explain the origin of the universe is the Big Bang Theory. After the introduction of this theory, many scientists across the world started to research the origin of life on Earth. Early Greek thinkers thought that life came out from decaying and rotting matters like straw, mud, etc. And this was named the theory of spontaneous generation. Later on, Louis Pasteur conducted the S-curved neck flask experiment. He filled two S-neck flasks with nutrient broth and boiled them. One was kept still and another one was open to air. After some time, he observed that in pre-sterilized flask, life did not come whereas in the flask kept open in the air, new living organisms arose from the killed yeast. And he disapproved the theory of spontaneous generation. After this theory, Oparin and Haldane gave a hypothesis for chemical evolution. According to which in the early stages of Earth, the atmosphere was reducing which catalyzed the reaction that would form complex organic molecules from simpler molecules. Oceans served as a prebiotic atmosphere where the chemical reaction occurs in an aqueous environment to form a huge diversity of organic compounds. These compounds became a large population of organic monomers and polymers acquiring lipid membranes with droplets. Droplets eventually form the true prokaryotic cell which further formed eukaryotic cells. This version of biogenesis that is the first form of life arose slowly through evolutionary forces from non-living molecules is accepted by the majority. After the hypothesis, in 1953, S. L. Miller created similar conditions on a laboratory scale. He created an electric discharge in a closed flask containing methane, hydrogen, ammonia and water vapor at 800 degrees Celsius. He observed the formation of amino acids, fatty acids, hydroxy acids and amide products. It confirmed a parent's hypothesis that these molecules would then be able to take part in the prebiotic process which leads to the origin of life. Let's answer a few questions asked in the medical entrance exams. Question 1. Which of the following is likely to be absent in free form in the primordial atmosphere at the time of origin of life? Number 1. Oxygen or O2 Number 2. Hydrogen or H2 Number 3. Methane or CH4 or Number 4. Ammonia or NH3 This question was asked in Delhi PMT 2013. Solution. At early stages of Earth, atmosphere was reducing time because oxygen was not present in free form. At that time, oxygen was present as water vapor. Hence, option 1 is correct. Question 2. An experiment to prove that organic compounds were the basis of life was performed by Number 1. Oparin Number 2. Miller Number 3. Melvin Or Number 4. Fox This question was asked in JIPMA 2011. Solution. Oparin and Haldane gave the hypothesis of chemical evolution of life on Earth. Miller in 1953 conducted an experiment to prove the Oparin hypothesis. Hence, option 2 is correct. This concludes our video on theories of the origin of life. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.